let me tell you a little something about myself, how I, my point of view into the world in general, in one particular way. So let's talk about generations, right? So I'm generation X, there's Y and Z and everything else. And I have some thoughts about this because there's this sort of intergenerational, at least in a superficial way, conflict, I guess. You see it on social media, for example, well, uh, boomers, which are my parents, baby boomers, and, and then there's my generation and Misha's generation. And I've been thinking about this. And on one hand, I feel like the younger generations shouldn't necessarily be bound by, let's say, the rules and customs of the earlier generations, right? Like mine. I think there needs to be a freedom there to sort of decide for your generation what is important to you and, and how you want to contribute to civilization in general and how you want things to change. Now, so here's what I'm going to ask you for. You know, it's a bit of a thought experiment, okay? So I'm 48 years old. I'm Gen X. Let's say you're 20, something like that, or a teenager. On one hand, I, would, I absolutely extend to you this thought, this idea that perhaps you shouldn't be bound to my worldview. In fact, you really shouldn't be, you know? But then you have a question of laws, you know? So it, it gets tricky at a point where you go, well, there's rules and there's customs, and then there's the laws that are made on behalf of some of these things. So I think it would be extremely valuable to civilization as a whole that instead of sparring between generations, that we come to an understanding that I will absolutely meet you halfway, let's say, you know? And I will, and I will try to understand your point of view. Now, I will not understand it as you understand it. I cannot, just as you cannot understand mine completely. And, and I'll give you an example. This is... A, we're in a very different type of situation now, and because I have a teenage son, I really am on the front lines of this, right? So, for example, my childhood and my father's childhood were not that different. And even my grandfather's childhood, like we could relate directly on all the important things. Okay, so my grandfather didn't grow up with a TV in his house, um, you know, that kind of thing. But basically, you know, you know, you had the three main news networks, and we all grew up on that, on those, right? However, the difference between my generation and my son's generation is massive, right? So not only teenagers, but people in their 20s and even early 30s, we're, we have a very different worldview in, in one particular way, that you're digital natives, right? So Misha discovers the world first through his phone, through his device, right? then we go out into the world and see it for real, let's say. But everything he discovers initially is done on his device, right? So he just searches everything in the world, and, and when he comes to something that's interesting, well, then we'll take him into the world and experience it or buy it for him, and he can, you know, deal with it for real. So this is a completely foreign um, lifestyle, let's say, to, some, to me. Now, of course, I'm on device and, you know, we've adapted, of course. But what I'm trying to say is that we really have different um, points of view and it's important that we both try to understand each other, you know, like meet in the middle, as I said. So I grant you that you should decide for yourselves the rules and customs and things that you want to live by trying to understand that I'm a little bit from the old world and that I think we should, it's really kind of a, it's a, it's a tolerance thing. It's, it's just tolerance is all it is and that's just the discipline, right? It's that I look at your, what matters to you and I go, okay, I'm, so for me personally, it's not at all about judgment. I want to understand. So when I interact with you, young people, any people really, my agenda is to understand, it's not to judge right? And understanding requires thinking. And thinking is hard, actually. That's why many people just judge, because thinking is hard, right? It takes, it, it's time-consuming, it takes a lot of energy, 
you know, and then you have to question yourself and try to filter out your own biases and everything. It's really a lot of work, but I enjoy that. I mean, it's just my favorite thing to do is to think. So when I'm interacting with you, understand that I want to understand. It's about understanding for me. It's not about judgment, okay? Let me know what you think.